Tonight, many of us are preparing for that big traditional Thanksgiving meal and holiday gatherings are back in a big way as pandemic restrictions continue to ease. But for a growing number of families, it's still very, very tough. And the 2020 census found that over 37 million Americans live in poverty and local food banks are inundated. Feeding America reports one in nine Americans face food insecurity. Hunger impacts every community, but Native Americans are more likely to face this problem. One in four indigenous people experience food insecurity. And our lead race and culture reporter, Candace Red, she has the story. Reconnecting our youth with the Earth Mother. As a Native American, Alpha Melbourne is pushing the food sovereignty movement. Growing food in a traditional and culturally appropriate way that's regenerative and sustainable. Growing with Mother Nature and not against it. Melbourne founded Three Sisters Gardens in 2018 to teach at-risk youth how to grow, harvest, and distribute organic vegetables. The goal and hunger. Three Sisters Gardens, located right here in West Sacramento, from the railroad tracks to the river is designated a food desert. Our goal is to give away from 40 up to 60% of our food here locally. Definitely trying to work with the native and indigenous communities. Nationally, one in five Native Americans face hunger. That's more than three times the rate of white people. We're not just trying to give food away. We're also trying to teach folks how to grow their own food so that they can do for themselves. When you're talking about food sovereignty, I would say that this is specifically tied to, for example, gardening. As a Native American educator, Dr. Rose Souza War Soldier says food sovereignty is also about culture restoration for indigenous people. The idea of food sovereignty, you know, really is the idea of having a land-based return to uh, cultural practices and cultural revival. Um, and so this is deeply tied to land, which means that it's deeply tied to culture. All we have to do is remember what's innate and in our DNA. And so we have to use our voice to continue to advocate for other native and indigenous people so that we can get back to doing for ourselves as we did in the past. And there is a way that you can help all this month. Our Stand Against Hunger campaign is raising money for seven local food banks. And if you would like more information on the campaign or you would like to make a donation yourself, make sure that you text 916-321-3310 or you can head straight to our uh, website, abc10.com slash stand against hunger.